So this past September, we spent some time with Galloway Bay Outfitters here near Swift Current, Saskatchewan. Located just off the Saskatchewan River, we saw huge flocks of speckle bellies, Canada geese, snows, blues, Ross geese, major migration area. You can crane hunt, you can duck hunt, you can goose hunt, you can do it all out on these prairies of Saskatchewan. It is truly some of the most tremendous waterfall hunting that you're gonna find in the continent. Take them, boys. Passion for the Hunt is brought to you by Shields, Crestliner Boats, Stierka, North Dakota Tourism, Federal Premium Ammunition, Matthews Archery, Travel Manitoba, and Primo's Hunting. Well, we made it. What an eight hour drive from Devil's Lake. We're up by Swift Current, Saskatchewan, Western Saskatchewan, and speckle bellies, cranes, snow geese, ducks, Canada geese, really a multi species waterfall destination. We're just getting checked in here. It's been a long drive. Hello? Hello? Hey! Anybody home? Hey guys. Hey, K hey, Casey. Yeah. All right. Jason. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Jamie. 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 Pleasure. Jamie. Jamie. Pleasure. Yeah. All right. Well, this thank Ken. you guys. Ken. Wow. Nice to meet you. We Hi. came Hi. at the Hi. right Hi. time. Yeah, huh? you betcha. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes. Lunch is ready. I imagine we'll go out and scout tonight and kind of get everything yep. ready and. Yeah, we got some time to finish uh, dinner here, and we'll probably check on some fields and uh, look for birds just up till dark. Mm -hmm. Get out there by six o'clock and. Yeah, put them to bed. Yeah, I can't wait for the morning. Oh, I can't wait either. to eat. <laughs> yeah, me either. No, oh, dig in. This area in Saskatchewan here, it's uh, right in the middle of the central fly zone, and it seems like birds migrate right through here. They stop at the South Saskatchewan River and they congregate for maybe a month or so. It's an area that holds plenty of speckle belly geese. The Canada's come through a little bit later in the season. On a wet year, when the smaller water bodies are filled up with water out in the farmer's fields, we'll see high numbers of ducks, mallards, pintails, all kinds of species. It's a waterfowler's dream really just to be out in this area and experience it. We hope to share that with as many people as possible doing business out here in Saskatchewan. Scouting and being where the birds want to be, you know, having that right location, is paramount and so we spent a lot of time you know, riding around the prairies of Saskatchewan here with Casey and, and obviously you know it's an important aspect of the hunt but it's also one of the most enjoyable aspects of the hunt. You get to you know drive around the camaraderie, everybody's in the cab of a vehicle, you know you're talking, you're having conversations and you know, you're just using your binos to scan you know just this beautiful country looking for birds. Wow that is impressive huh? Yeah that's a field covered in geese right now. Cranes, speckle bellies, obviously there's thousands of snow geese. I can see Ross geese out there. Well, this field might be an option for tomorrow or possibly uh, the next day. We have permission here for a day from tomorrow, but we might have to talk to a farmer and get some, uh, get a jump on them tomorrow instead, so. Yeah, they're piling in here, wow. morning of our Saskatchewan hunt we've got a bunch of speckle bellies up in the pocket here some Canadians now we're just mixing up some snow geese here 
just to widen up the spread a little bit. We don't have much wind today, but the really cool aspect of my mind about coming to a place and hunting like this is the, you know, just the variety. You know, we don't get a lot of speckle bellies in North Dakota, especially or South Dakota. And you get speckle bellies, snow geese, lesser cannas, everything kind of mixed together. Then you throw in the ducks and the sandhill cranes. On any given day, you don't know what you're gonna shoot. Oh, this is a real good staging area. It's been a big staging area for specks for forever. Um, snows have been moving in for the last, I don't know, 10 years maybe. There's thousands and thousands of birds, so we should be able to get lots of species and lots of numbers hopefully today. time get those other birds up out of here too. We got some more coming here. Single right here. Ken? Kenny, take them, take them, take them. You know it's amazing up here you can use electronic callers here in the fall with the snow goose soundtrack but uh, you know you'll see these Snow geese will be sitting with speckle bays. They all kind of mix together and they all learn to kind of associate with each other. And so that's kind of what we're doing with this spread here. You know, we've got some Canadians, we've got some crane decoys out, lots of speckle belly decoys, snow goose decoys. And what's always amazing me is we see so many speckle bellies in the spring when we're hunting in South Dakota, North Dakota for the spring snow goose season. And in the fall, you know, we just don't see them. And so to come up here and to see this many speckle bellies is a real treat. first morning and conditions weren't ideal, high sky, pretty much partly cloudy and birds just wouldn't finish, but still ended up taking a few and having a good experience. come you know with the guys here to one of if not the largest uh, staging areas for speckle bellies you know in North America coming off the tundra a lot of your snows blues you know and even some of the smaller species of Canada's you know they come straight down and uh, they'll come through the Dakotas and most of the central flyway and the specks kind of peel out kind of follow the South Saskatchewan River one I think once they get to the end you get to the border they go to parts unknown and, you know and we hardly ever see them in North Dakota in the, in the fall. In fact, I've only shot two my whole life in North Dakota. So to be able to come up here and do this is really amazing. Just getting everything set up and there's some beautiful cover here. We've got decoys just sprawled out all up on this side hill here. We've really got them spread out and we're just gonna play the wind here, but there's a nice ditch that runs through this field. So we've got a few decoys sprinkled up on this other side here just to try to line them up. We might have to shift a little bit, but we're gonna play the cover here today and see how it works. The number of birds coming to this area is incredible. The reason they're coming here is there are two or three very large roost areas in our area 
but the, the farming here, the agriculture, definitely helps uh, keep the birds in this area where the farmers are still growing pulse crops, uh, peas and lentils, and then some barley and durum and wheat in our area. It just holds those geese here. They're fattening themselves up to go further south. With any luck and good weather, those geese will stay longer and the numbers will just grow and grow. We've got a big spread out mix of snows and specks and dark geese. Uh, real wide spread. We're just hoping that these mature birds that seem to be in the area are just going to hang around long enough, give us a good look. Might be some high shooting today, and, but hopefully the weather pushes them down on top of us and we'll uh, hopefully have a good hunt today. They're just beautiful birds, huh? Yeah. Not a single juvenile. Huh. Yeah, they're all mature. Just a cool bird. Drive a long ways to shoot speckle bellies like this, huh? Yeah, that's not good. Oh my goodness. Just bar chested. Gorgeous. This is cool. We're almost past shooting. Some of the birds are slowing down, taking a good look at the spread, but they're staying high. Like we said before, they seem to be mature birds, taking a real hard look at the decoys. So best case scenario is good cover when they're uh, scanning the ground like that. And that's what we're looking for in this low area. You get up into Saskatchewan and the fields are enormous. In some cases, one field might cover over a section of land, you know, which is a mile by a mile. And a lot of times you're using big field decoy spreads and it's just classic goose hunting where these birds are coming off of a roost and then they're coming out in these fields to feed and you know speckle bellies candas a lot of times you'd see is you know just this variety of geese you know all using the same field
That second morning hunt really set the tone for us. I mean, it, we laid out just shy of a limit of speckle bellies and got a couple snows and blues. It sure worked out well. It was a good experience this morning and we slogged through the mud and shot some birds and all in all, you know, it's just a good time. For some people, an adult mature Ross goose or an adult snow goose or a mature blue goose is just a trophy hit in a sense. And, you know, we were just talking about how we looked at the speckabelli as such a trophy because we don't get to see them very often. Well, another bird up here that you know, a lot of people have a lot of interest in are the sandhill cranes. You know, there's not a lot of places where you can hunt sandhill cranes, but you get in these prairie provinces and through the central flyway of the United States, there's quite a few states and provinces that have a have a sandhill crane season. And these sandhill cranes are hunted just like ducks and geese in the sense we're going out and we're putting decoys out in the field. These birds are roosting and they're coming out in their field feeding and they're either pass shooting or decoy hunting to harvest a sandhill crane. It's hard to get in and out of the fields with, uh, with our trucks, too muddy. So we're walking in from the road carrying very minimal amount of decoys and we're just setting up uh, in some bales here kind of just working with what we got. And there's been a lot of birds just landing here, cranes and specks, so we're hoping that uh, they come back this morning. We're a little late getting out, but we wanted to see what the weather did, so hopefully it works out. There's birds flying over right now. Specs to the south, specs to the south. <laughs> Take them, boys. Woke up this morning, it would rain off and on, and you know, then we decided, well, we gotta go for it. You know, we're here. Really, it's kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity to see all these speckle bellies. It, it is just a spectacle. I don't know if we saw all the birds. I'm pretty sure they short stopped us and flew maybe a quarter mile, did a feed there. You know, it was pretty ugly once that drizzle and uh, sleet set in, but it's the way it goes when you're hunting waterfall. Here comes five low incoming right to left, you guys. We saw plenty of cranes this morning. Yeah, it was kind of flock after flock for a while. You know, and the funny thing with cranes is you really gotta wait them out. You know, they drift across the prairie, especially going into a pretty harsh wind. And you gotta wait and wait and wait. And uh, they got eyes like an eagle. So you really gotta be, be still and, you know, moving around them bales and almost, you know, trying to get in and out of position for them. Take them, boys. Oh, oh. The thing with the crane, you know, a little tough shooting this morning, you know, you pull up on them, you think you gotta maybe pull a little lead or get off that beak, but, you know, you learn, they almost stop in time. Once they know you're there in that wind, you just gotta shoot right at them. And watching them come out of the sky is, that's a treat. Yeah, some cranes coming here, boys. They're locking up, they're locking up here. Coming to the decoys, coming around. So up here in Saskatchewan, if you're looking for a true waterfowl experience and just experience what this province has to offer with the number of birds and the different styles of hunting that you can do here, different species, us at Galloway Bay Outfitters, we will focus on morning hunts, geese, cranes, um, targeting different species that clients might uh, prefer we also have uh, 
upland hunting here that we can provide, we can take clients out on. Uh, sharp tail, grouse, and Hungarian partridge. Um, there's always that option as well. And I also have some fishing opportunities in the summer. Yep. This morning was exceptional for a crane hunt and the weather was not friendly, but it was favorable for the uh, crane hunting, kept them low and we got some good shooting, so. It was good. You know, personally, I've never seen so many speckle bellies as what I've seen in this area of Saskatchewan. Not only do you see great numbers of speckle bellies, but you've also have the equipment and the gear and the knowledge in the sense that Casey grew up in this area. He knows every farmer. He's, you know, basically got it on speed dial where if he sees birds going in somewhere, he can call the landowner and get permission. But on top of that, they're just top-notch people. You know, it's just small town Canada at its best. And we really enjoyed our time up here.